In this video, we will look at a technique that is often useful when node voltage method is used to find the open circuit voltage between a given terminals of interest. Consider this given circuit. The open circuit voltage between the terminals A and B is V Thevenin. This is the voltage of interest that we need to solve for. This given circuit has two essential nodes. This node can be grounded and then we label this node as V1. Under normal circumstances, we would write Kirchhoff current law at this node 1. And since the circuit has a dependent source, we would write a dependent source constraint equation. Solving these two equations would give us values of V1 and Ix. However, in this circuit, V1 and Ix are not the parameters of interest. In order to find Vth, we then need to use further circuit analysis and use the values of V1 and Ix to find Vth. Instead, a useful technique is to make sure that the voltage Vth is part of the node voltage equations. This can be done as follows. The voltage Vth in this example is the voltage at this point in the circuit. We can see that here two circuit elements are joining. So this point in the circuit is a node, but it is not an essential node. Recall that an essential node is where three or more circuit elements meet. And this point is a node because only two circuit elements are meeting here. Suppose we label the voltage here as Vth. And now we apply node voltage method, writing KCL equations at node 1 and also node 2. Even though node 2 is not an essential node, this does not cause any issues with the node voltage method. Ordinarily, we do not write KCL at ordinary nodes in the circuit because this gives us extra equations to solve. However, in this case, if we are using a scientific calculator or, a, or an online tool to solve, then the number of equations that need to be solved is not a concern. And having Vth appear as a variable in the equations to be solved means that we get the solution of the voltage of interest directly. So let's see how we can apply node voltage method in this case. First, we need to write KCL at node 1. We assume branch currents are flowing away from node 1 and then use Ohm's law to the resistors to write the terms. So this branch current is voltage at this side minus voltage here, which is 200 volts because the independent voltage source is directly connected between ground and this point. Thus, the first term is V1 minus 200 over 25. This branch current through the 100 ohm resistor is V1 minus 0 over 100. And this branch current through the 10 ohm resistor is now V1 minus Vth over 10 and this is equal to 0. Next, let's apply KCL at node 2. Node 2 is not an essential node. It is an ordinary node because only two circuit elements are meeting here. But we are interested to write this KCL equation because then Vth is now a variable in the equations. So at this node, we have two branch currents. So this branch current through the 10 ohm resistor is Vth minus V1 over 10. And this branch current through the 20 ohm resistor is Vth minus 30 Ix divided by 20. And this is equal to 0. Finally, we need to write the dependent source constraint equation. So we need to relate the variable Ix, which is controlling the magnitude of the dependent source to the node voltages. Ix is the current through the 10 ohm resistor in this direction. So Ix is given by V1. We follow the direction of Ix. 
So this end is at higher potential, this end is at lower potential. Thus we get V1 minus VTH over 10. Now we see that we have three circuit equations to solve, but VTH is one of the variables that we will be directly solving for. Solving these three simultaneous equations using a scientific calculator, we can show that Ix is equal to 2 amps, V1 is equal to 120 volts, and VTH comes out 100 volts. Thus, we get the solution for the variable for the voltage of interest directly. So this example illustrates that it is possible to apply node voltage method at ordinary nodes and this should be done only if it makes the variable of interest appear in the circuit equations so its value can be obtained directly.